to say, usually I want to be in on the traditions we discuss on the show, but for this segment, I'm very happy to be not a part of this. <laughs> we're talking about all of those recipes we grew up with that were just kind of gross in retrospect. When you look back, you're thinking, why was this always on the table during Thanksgiving? It's a crazy melange of foods that should never be put together. Um, we're Jamaican. All our food is good. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it was all good all oh, the yeah. time. There was nothing gross. But we are going to share, Shona, um, maybe a few recipes that you grew up with that at the time did you like? Okay, not at the time. I still like it. Oh. But <laughs> it is kind of gross at the same time. You but still like it. I still like it. Well, because it's it's sentimental food now. Okay. Right. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's on our table every holiday, every season. My mom always makes this for us. I've been together with my husband for 24 years, and he since he's been around, wow, so since a kid, yeah. Mm. Okay, so what it's made? Okay, here's what, what the final it? product looks like. Okay, and yes, it kind of looks like pink foam because you know that's basically what it is. It looks yeah. like the stuff from the dentist. This is, yeah, it does, but fluffy. So oh, that's yeah. it. Okay, so there's um, crushed pineapple. There's dry raspberry jello. Although you can go crazy and use any kind of jello flavor you like, okay. because everything else is white and plain. Right. And then cottage cheese. No. Oh. And a tub of Cool Whip. So you put all of this in it, oh. and you stir it up, and you get this. Wow. Okay. And there you go. It's in a bowl. But I'll tell you, we make wow. fun of it a lot. Like, so we often make fun of it, but no, we all eat no it. Way. Okay, so I'm going to dish it. So wait, this is a main course. This is considered a it's salad. It's a main course. Oh, boy. This oh. is considered a salad. Goes Where's in the main the course. Where's the lettuce? So right by your... I know. Where's the so savory? So your turkey, your stuffing, and your <laughs> pink foam. Okay. <laughs> Give it up for Shona for sharing that. Thank you. Shona's sweet jello, and I raise her tasteless gelatin in the form okay. of a jelly mold. Okay. So, my grandmother's Chatelaine cookbook from oh, 1965 oh, was cool. dog eared to the section titled Jellied Salads Tips for Making Jellied Salads, and starts with Molded salads are popular year round mm, favorites. Sure. Who totally. wouldn't agree there, with that? So, salads. one of the recipes that was tagged that I thought, gotta take Grandma's recipe for a whirl, was jellied fish salad loaf. Oh, and it's noted wow. that it's low cost. You put so, fish, there's fish in there. Because, you know, if jello. you use fish, there's you want to buy the cheapest fish you, fish you can you find. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who remembers that, right? So, just to walk you through the ingredients, if this wasn't appealing enough, yeah. there is a full jar of mayonnaise. Yeah. There is gelatin. There's a full stock, like a whole junk of celery. Yeah. And it notes leftover fish. So any leftover fish you might have in the, in the book. So Why wouldn't you put fish and jello together? Why you do? What else are you gonna do with leftover fish? What do you, well, yeah. right? I mean, really. And forget it as a side. This is the Don't main, even. baby. That's the main. Apparently, thing, eh? you slice this like a loaf. Yeah. 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 And oh, look at that. Oh, Just God. jiggly goodness. <laughs> you have teeth, that's what you're having yeah. for dinner. <laughs> that's the main thing. You could not pay me to eat this. My kids last night saw me making this and they thought that I was prepping for a Halloween show. <laughs> They're like, is this one of the science experiments you're wow. doing? There is something to be said for gelatin, though, and the reason why it was such a big deal, right? It you was know, a huge about big the deal. history. It, you had to be a rich person in order Absolutely. to eat gelatin. Yeah. So then for some reason, it took on these crazy iterations of itself. Well, you and know now it's it with two. It's because it was too simple. In the, I read about this. It was in, in a book. I read about this that it was too simple in the 50s and 60s, and the housewives needed to complicate things. So it's just anything that oh. would throw in to make it look or like a lot of work put into the simple yeah. gelatin right. and to use everything up in the fridge. And because yeah. jello, jello became popular, because only rich people, could, exactly. because it was real gelatin, so their servants had time to separate it, yada, yada. Yes. And then when they came up with like instant jello, that's what the big people could be things. fabulous. They could be so fabulous and have jello Throw in the kitchen sink. So gelatin. it's all accessible now. Gelatin. Everybody can have gelatin. Yeah. And thank God this stayed in the And past. that's what happened. Okay. <laughs> all right. So we're moving along okay. um, to this beautiful Look at that. creation. <laughs> gorgeous, which, isn't it? But this is a salad. But you see this everywhere. This is the typical coleslaw. It's a coleslaw. And it's like, Gosh. if you as parents uh, really want your kids to eat vegetables, is this the best you got? <laughs> like, like, really, you put this in front of your kid. You know? Make you big and strong. And you're like, oh, boy. <laughs> what is it? You 
even I don't know. You've done a better version of this. So I, actually I don't know went how one you step make further. that. When I grew up, like there were some aunts and uncles, and it was a barrage of weird stuff hitting the table. <laughs> like you didn't know who the guilty party was. Like who brought that? And all the kids would be like, whose parents brought this thing? Because it was like, oh no, was like this was there, that was there. They're all there, right? So I kind of got into cooking because I would sit at the table and be like, I can't eat I can't this. <laughs> So what I'm trying to do with my son is teach him like to eat vegetables and eat, eat proper stuff. So right. I just took all the stuff that was in my fridge, cabbage, peppers, candy cane beets, fennel, cucumber, apple, scallions, herbs, lime, yes. mayonnaise, salt, pepper. Whoa. Wow, that looks like right? vegetables, and right? Now, like, this compared beautiful. to this? You'll eat that and it just has this like nice little marriage of crunchiness. Yes. And it's like, whoa. There's that wasn't veggies hard. in there. It's yeah. obvious. He'll, he'll want chocolate once he's done because he knows it's healthy. So but why? It's a success. Guys, thank you so much for sharing. We got more coming up. <laughs> <laughs>